Hello, I'm Mark from Pescon Environmental. On today's video, we're going to be talking about fabric moths. You may have heard the term clothes moths or carpet moths. They're actually the same sort of moth, okay? Just that sometimes they may feed off clothes and the other times they may feed off carpets. Is what they're doing, they're feeding from keratin, what actually our hair is made out of. So it's this keratin that the larval stage, egg, larvae, pupae, adult. Think of the caterpillar and the butterfly. So it's the larvae stage that is chomping on the natural fiber. And we know we've got some carpets upstairs that are infested with moths. If it's your old Christmas jumper that you've not worn for six months, then you've got to be looking at that in your wardrobes. However, in this commercial building, there are carpets upstairs, and that's where the infestation is apparently believed. Follow me. Immediately, we found the carpet. Now, we'll have a look to see if this has any evidence of moths. No, in fact, these are dead moths here. So the classic sign of this moth is the goldy, yellowy, shimmery reflection that they give off. If we look closely enough, we will see eggs in these little grooves here and possibly the larvae. And like I said, it's the larvae stage that is feeding off the fabric. It's what we need to do now, we need to carry out an insecticide treatment, which is a wet insecticide, which will eradicate this pest. I'm gonna go right to the top of these stairs because it's just the stairwell and this part that is carpeted. And I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna slowly and carefully work my way back, walking backwards as carefully as I can go to treat all areas of the carpet. This then ensures that I'm not standing in any insecticide as I go, which may affect the treatment. Okay, so I'm treating all the cracks and crevices. Moths will not be in the middle of the floor because they'll simply get stood on. So they will be in all of the edges. So this is where I need to pay particular attention. So that is a quick treatment for fabric moths. Now if you've got fabric moths at your home or in your workplace and you want to try and treat them yourself, there are products on the market that try and follow these basic steps of trying to get in all the cracks and crevices. And if you believe them to be in your clothes, then you have to treat your clothes separately. You can wash cottons at over 60 degrees. It has to be over 60 degrees because extreme temperatures kill eggs, larvae, and the adults, okay? Now, if you've got any delicate items that you do not want to wash at that temperature, such as your favorite Christmas jumper, then get it in the freezer for 72 hours. If you put it in the freezer for 72 hours, then that will also kill off all life stages of the moth, okay? That is what you need to do. If you like this video, then push the like button. Please subscribe to our channel in the link below. And for further information, check out our website. I'm Mark from Pescon Environmental. Thank you.